Señores, bienvenidos a Punto G. Soy Mario Lozano y el día de hoy les tengo la primera parte de una entrevista con Rob Ferguson, director de producción para Epic Games, quien nos habla un poco de lo que podemos esperar de Gears of War 3, su personaje favorito y si realmente este es el final de la historia. Uh, yeah, this is the conclusion of the story. That uh, uh, Gears 1, 2, and 3 represent a beginning, middle, and end. And that's, uh, we're really excited about the fact that we actually get to finish a story. We get to tell a story and not just have just go on and on and on and just have people, you know, stop playing when they get bored. This is actually like a, an actual conclusion. Well, the third installment is, is it's, everything has been taken up a notch. It's, uh, the story is deeper and... and uh, more emotional and more profound. It's uh, with Karen Travis doing the writing. She, she wrote all of our novels, and so she has a much deeper understanding of the characters. And so because of that, the, the story itself is, is deeper and richer. Um, and then from the gameplay, I mean, we've got four-player co-op and campaign now, and you've got the new horde mode with power defense elements, and the new beast mode where you get to play as a monster. And, and so everything is, everything's been taken up as the, the campaign is bigger and uh, the, the best campaign we've ever done. And, and the same as the multiplayer, the multiplayer is the best uh, multiplayer that you can have for Gears of War. So uh, we really feel like Gears of War 3 is the best game that Epic Games has ever made. So we're excited to have it come in. Uh, you know, the, yeah, the details around the leak are it's not, it's not really that clear. It's, uh, not sure exactly how that stuff we know how people have claimed it happened but uh, generally that's the sort of saying that they cover their tracks about what really happened so we're doing all the right things legally about the leak and following up on it and that kind of stuff and it's always really really disappointing um, because you know the the build from the leak was like that version of the game was before the beta even so it was, it was like a march version so it's not even close to what the final game is like so I really hope people aren't looking at the leak and trying to judge the game. Uh, ooh, if I were a gear, which character would I be? Uh, hmm, good question. Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't know that I have the uh, enthusiasm for, for danger that Cole has. I don't know if I'm a, <laughs> as a risk taker here. Uh, and I'm not quite as sarcastic as Baird. So uh, I'd, probably, I'd probably be more like Dom. I think Dom is a... When we designed Don as a character, we designed him to be the voice of the player. So, because we didn't want Marcus talking a lot, because we wanted you to be able to just play him and, and kind of get lost in that. And so, whenever we see something that we've never seen before, we had Dom say, you know, call it out and, and, and see him. Like, what the hell was that? And, oh, we're never going to get out of here. And that was, he was meant to be the emotions of the player. And so, I think, I think ultimately that's probably what I would be at, at the Dom. Con esto terminamos la primera parte de la entrevista. Yo los espero mañana aquí en Punto G.